for those who don't know me, my name is Mikael Svensson. I'm a PM working on Microsoft Search. Uh, I do some development on these web parts every now and then. So I'd, I just wanted to share a page which has been set up using the PMP Modern Search web parts. So I actually had to call call up one of my um, former colleagues at the puzzle part. So there's a guy called Puru of Loftusness who set up this page. So this is a page using the home layout. That means you have a right column here and then um, the, the main line. So we have a filter web part in the right hand column. We have a search box and we have a vertical web part and then we have the result web parts. And I also hidden the search box in the header to just use this page. So just to show that you can have pretty nifty pages actually set up using these web parts. Now, if I just switch between the verticals, then it just changes the the, the, the queries and also the templates used. Um, I also think there's there's a custom template used on these results. Uh, so these are not tags, this is actually the site name. So it's just a custom template used. And then we have some filters. So I can do site. So if I pick my like PMP demo site, I will get whatever files is on there. So that's just showing you what you can do. And now I'll hand it over to Frank and he will start with a blank page. And let's see if he can get up to look something looking like this. Yeah, thanks, Michael. Uh, okay, so quick introduction about me. Uh, my name is Frank Cornu. I'm Microsoft 365 Specialist and uh, Office Development MVP. Uh, today, we wanted to make this call to do a quick demo about the modern search and how to use it and how to get started with this solution, especially for new people uh, who don't already know this solution. So this will be a very basic uh, demo about the installation and the basic usage of this uh, web parts. So first of all, uh, this solution, uh, how you, uh, you can get it, uh, at all on GitHub, you have the Microsoft Search uh, Organization and the PMP Modern Search Repository. And you can get the latest, uh, the last release, sorry, uh, directly from here. So the last, the latest version is the October version. Uh, as I said earlier in this call, there will be another version in December adding new features. Uh, so the demo I will show you here will be based on the upcoming version. I won't go through uh, all of these um, features, but uh, maybe uh, for another call. But uh, I will uh, focus on uh, on basic usage. So to Get the package, basically you get the release here and you have some package here to download. You have this, it is a regular uh, SharePoint framework package, so you can use it uh, in a site collection app catalog or, or tenant app catalog. Uh, in this demo, for instance, I have a site here and I just I, I just enable the site collection app catalog and I use it like um, in an isolated way in my site collection. So just Put your solution in the app catalog, uh, click on deploy, and the web port will be available uh, on your site. So as a demo, we'll just take a, a blank page uh, and see how you can make search center, like uh, Michael uh, just shown to you, uh, um, a search center using this component. So I will start with the very basic component. Basically, when you install the solution, you have like four web parts included. The most important one and the main one is the PNP search results. So from here, basically, you can configure. You have to. You will have to choose that the, the data sources, and we expose the SharePoint search, this, which is the the original uh, source from the V3 uh, and earlier, and now the Microsoft Search source. So. The first step is to choose uh, which source you want to use. So I will, I will uh, do my demo with the SharePoint search. So basically, when you click on the source, you will have a lot of options uh, specific to that source. So if I go to SharePoint search, I will basically found, uh, find sorry, the, the, the option for the SharePoint search, like query templates, visual source, and, and so on. And Microsoft search, I will have other options like entity types and so on. So it really depends on the, on the source. So first of all, I will configure the stop on search. So to get results from here, the easy way is to configure the query template. So in these specific fields, you can add your query in the uh, uh, keyword query language uh, format. So refer to the documentation to see how you can build this kind of query. But basically, let's say I want to grab all the um, documents from my site. 
you can use managed properties like PAT, for instance, and you can, all, you can also use tokens. Tokens are a result uh, from the context, from the PEMS context, and this way you can build like dynamic queries to get your results. So let's say I want to use, I want to use uh, the result from, I want to see the result from Massa, this specific site, and, and I want to show only PDF, for instance. So, sorry. So when you do this kind of thing, the uh, condition between managed property will be an end. And if you want to specify an or, you have to write it explicitly. So by default, this is the end. So if I do that and I click apply, as you can see, all my results uh, appear here. And from this page, I can also control uh, some other options. For instance, as you can see uh, here in the, in, the, in the default layout, I have some weird stuff in the, um, in the layout. And let's say I want to use my own uh, managed property, SharePoint managed property. So uh, as an example, let's say I have a document library with a taxonomy column, and I have all my document tag with these taxonomy values. Uh, I can create a managed property from this column. So if I go to the search schema and I, I go to the refinable stream managed property, which are basically placeholders that you can use for custom scenarios uh, instead of creating new managed property, uh, you can map the crawl property to a specific refinable that you can use in the model. Search. So let's say I want to use um, the refinable streak like 02 maps to the text version of the taxonomy term for, for my column. Uh, I mapped this and also uh, created an alias to, uh, to be used in, in the component. So if I go back to my page and let's say I want this value to be my managed property instead of the default one, I will, I will use something called slots here. The slots are basically placeholders in your layouts. So it depends on the layouts. Um, avoiding avoiding the, uh, the necessity to customize the template and refer your specific fields. So basically, when you configure slots, you have default uh, entries in the in this list, and these slots here are used in the layout. So you can change dynamically the value uh, displayed in the layout. So, for instance, I, I want to um, replace this value here. I will just go to tags and let's say add my uh, add my managed property. And as you can see here, the managed property here is not listed. And if you want to be, uh, if you want to use this managed property in this list, you have to first add it to the selected properties. And again, if I click there, the list provided here is just is these are just suggestions. You won't see all the custom managed property here. These are just suggestions. And sometimes people are confused because they, they don't see their managed property. This is this is the expected behavior, and we can't, technically speaking, um, retrieve all the managed properties from the search schema. So if you want to use a custom property, you have to uh, go to the drop down here and type the name of your property. So let's say it's refinable string uh, 02. I add it and I, and I Press enter to be uh, to to make this managed property available for my slots. So if I go back here and want to change this value, I'll go and customize and say tag. And now I will see my managed property appearing uh, in this list. So if I just switch the value and save, as you can see, the, the value will be changed uh, dynamically without any kind of custom. Uh, development, so it's really easy to uh, configure the, the, the layout uh, this way. Regarding the layout, the layout sorry, uh, you have a couple of options in the next page. So the, the first page is uh, delegated to the source configuration, and the next page is it's delegated to the layout. So we provide like default layouts. So for instance, the, the default one is the the cards, but we have also the detail list, the the simple list, slider. Uh, custom. If you want to go, uh, uh, if you want to to make a customization on the template, and also people, let's say to, to build a, a people directory, and we, we also the latest one is the debug uh, option to explore the result and how values are retrieved uh, within the search. So let's say I go to the, I choose the list uh, here for a template. This is always the same thing. You have 
the HTML template. So on the behind the scene, we are using handlebars uh, HTML template. So it's a templating framework to build like dynamic HTML templates. We have also uh, a special feature called result types. Uh, the result type is basically to make conditions about your um, results and to make um, display condition on it. So I will show you that. If I click on edit search result, I can build like conditions to render an, an item in a specific way. So let's say I want to, um, I don't know, choose the title here and say if the title contains since uh, Microsoft, it's a good example. I can completely override the display for this specific row in the results. So I can just go here, let's say, completely override the UI. I can go here and add and save. And as we can see, only the result with the specific condition will be um, processed with the template you you. Uh, provided in the result types configuration. So it's a pretty cool feature. Again, uh, it does not require a lot of development. All you have to do is know some HTML or some or some um, basic uh, CSS rules. Um, so it's pretty simple. Or you can start with the uh, default template and just update the default template. It works as well. Uh, so the next thing about uh, the layouts, we provide uh, some default option for each layout. So it really depends on what you are uh, building. For instance, for the list layout, you can, can just uh, add the, the icon, show the thumbnail or not, uh, something like this. Um, we have a couple of options here uh, to customize the display. If I go to the, another, um, for instance, the display list, I, I will have an other options. So in this in this case, for instance, I can customize all the columns and how they are rendered within the table. So a pretty uh, cool option to customize to, to, to according to your requirements. Uh, I won't go through all of these options, but basically you have many options for uh, layouts. And if it doesn't do the job for you, you can even customize the templates from scratch and go with the extensibility framework we, we also provide. This is not the, the, the purpose of this call, but maybe on the next call we go, uh, uh, we, we talk we, we talk about this uh, this option as well. Uh, so the next thing you're gonna find in the configuration option. So let me go back to my uh, list, for instance. So we choose the source, we choose the layout, and the next one is how we connect this thing to other web parts on the page. So basically, how, for instance, I can and use refiners uh, with these search results. So I will add another web parts on my page, for instance, the search filters, and I have to make the connections between the search results and the search filters. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go back to the search results, and on the search page, I will have a connect to filter web parts. If I enable this, I can choose the filter web parts I just added to the page, and I will do the same thing on the search filter. So it's, it is a, a two ways connection between the two. It's really important to, uh, to do that. Uh, otherwise, this won't work uh, properly. And from here, I can edit the filters. So the same as before, the field here uh, in the list are just the field available in the current uh, results. So if you don't see anything here, it means uh, either you don't have any results uh, uh, in your search result, or the connection is not made properly. So in there, for center, I can um, choose to refine on the file type. Uh, also, a very important thing here, the fields you are using here for SharePoint Search or Microsoft Search have to be refinable in the search schema and really important. For instance, if I choose, let's say, a title, this is not a refinable managed property and it won't work. So I have to choose refinable managed property. When I say refinable managed property in your search schema here, this column has to have the value refine here. That's why we are using refinable uh, uh, date, string, and blah, 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 placeholders. And that's for this reason. So let's say I, I want to add the file type. I'll just take a, a display name. You have also the choice how many values you want per filter, and you can choose the template. By default, we provide checkbox, that range, intervals, and uh, combo box. 
I would choose, let's say, a checkbox, and you have a couple of options, behavior options. If you want to expand by default the filter, if you want to show the count, if it is multi values or not, and if it is multi values, you have the choice uh, uh, about the operator, the default operator you want to use in that filter. So let's say it would be the end. And if you add and save, as you can see, you will see the filters appearing dynamically depending on the search results you have, you have there. So it means if I update the query here and I say, let's say, the wildcat character, I will have other values appearing automatically. So from here, you can just select a value, search a value, or uh, select the operator between the value. You can do pretty much what you want here and apply, and the values will be uh, filtered here. If you want to see the filters, the current filters combination appearing uh, on the web part, you have a, uh, an option in the search results, in the layout, in the common options, you will have this option to see the current combination you selected in the web part. So it's, it can be uh, it can be useful. It can be useful to see uh, what filters are currently applied. Last thing, or uh, one option you can also uh, do with this web part is connect to a, a search box web part. So if I want to use the search box web part to filter my results, the thing I have to do is create a search box here. So in this way, it just it is just a one-way connection. So the connection is made in the search results. On the search page, you will have input query text here. And you can, uh, you can choose static value or dynamic value. In this case, I, I added a search box on my page, so I will select the dynamic value and connect to source, select my search box, and select the search query. For the value to be used in the in the query template or in the in the query, you have to, to use a special token here, so it can be search terms, so it is the default one for start points, or you can also use input query text. Query text is the same thing. Okay, and this way, if I click apply, and I try to go uh, put to search, uh, let's say Microsoft, as you can see, the value will be filtered dynamically, and it works also with the filter and so on. The last thing I want to show you is the vertical web part, the last uh, web part of the set. Uh, basically, the vertical web parts allow you to browse data as silos. Uh, and basically, this web parts only controls the visibility of connected web parts. There, there is no magic behind it. It just controls visibility. So let's say I have a news tab. Uh, I have, uh, let's say, documents. So the configuration is very basic for this uh, web part. And um, I want to show this web part on the news tab and another web part on documents. So I will add another web part, let's say, here, a search result, uh, search terms, file time, blah, blah, blah. Yes, apply. And I can go to the search page, the connection page, and I can connect to a vertical tab. So uh, let's say I want this web part to be uh, displayed on the specific tab. I will select the documents. And I can do the same as well with the other web parts. So let's say connect to vertical, search, and news. So the final results will be something like this. As you can see, yeah, I have only one web part displayed. And if I go on the document, the other will be uh, displayed. So it covers pretty much the usage of this web part. Just in the last thing, if you have any issues or, or questions about the solution, please use the issues tab. We have also a discussion tab uh, we, uh, we created a um, few times ago. So for questions, prefer to use the discussion tab instead of issues. Uh, so it will be easier for us to, uh, to manage uh, this. Uh, that's it. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Frank and Mikhail. Thank you.